The brand new object synthesizer in Reason Studios is one which is blowing my mind. This synth uses physical modeling, which is different from what you're used to with, for instance, subtractive, wavetable, FM, and so on. It's a highly complex form of modeling that aims to create sounds like it happens in the real world. And Reason Studios has managed to create something which is almost understandable. I say understandable because it's still complex. The sounds you can create with objects range from very natural to synthetic. The best way to get an idea of what objects can do is to listen to this upright bass. And let's add a Fender Rhodes. These two are modeled instruments by Object. True drum and bass heads will know this tune. Let me know in the comments if you recognize this one. Let's add drums. Yes, the synth does drums too, and these are the ones created by Object. They have pulverize on them, and these are the clean sounds. I did layer an Amen break and Kong Drum Designer because I felt like it. And here are some more synthetic sounds. The drums are not created with object. Now how does object work? Before I explain it, you have to think how musical instruments and sounds in general work in the real world. Take this traffic sign. If you hit it with a stick, that stick will excite the sign making it resonate. When I use the back of the stick, the sound will be slightly different because the back is made of a harder material than the front. The same happens with musical instruments, like a guitar where a pick will excite the strings and it resonates. These steps, which are the stroke, the exciting and the resonances, are modeled in object. And you probably begin to understand why this is so complex, because every little variation will have an effect on the sound. Now before we dive in how this all works in object, please subscribe to the channel. It won't hurt. If you are brave enough to create your own sounds in object, it works something like this. Right now, this is nothing special. But if you add these modal notes, you will add harmonics. Keyboard tracking enables which of the added harmonics will follow the keyboard notes. These harmonics can be fine-tuned as well, which gives all sorts of interesting characters. If you only enable a few, you already get a percussive sound. Now if this gets too complicated, check some of the templates provided.
Real sounds in the world react differently on how the initial excitement is. And objects behave in the same way. So besides volume, you can change the impact sound which will affect the overall sound. Instead of attack, you can also work with noise as a exciter source. It comes with its own ADSR. And you can also use both at the same time. You can enable diffusion as well. You can already hear how much of an impact this has on the overall sound, but there's more. Objects 1 and 2 look similar to modal, but they generate resonances based on a sort of self-oscillating delays. Again, this gives all sorts of different characters. Templates are also available here to help you out. The accent controls here are really something you must play with. These all are controls for physical modeling and have a huge impact on the sound. Like basically every knob you turn on this synth. Object 2 does the same as Object 1, so more to tweak.
there's a little mixer built in with panning abilities. These days a synth is not complete without an effects section, and here you have enough to spice up the sound in many ways. You can modulate many of the dials in objects, and you can assign them here. There are handy LFO curves and macros included as well. This all helps in getting a more realistic sound. You can also automate of course, which is what I did here on the upright bass. Without automation it sounds like this, I kept the pitch pan. And here it is with the dispersion filter and mod automated. You hear that it adds a ton of life and realism. These two controls sound like this by themselves. There's an excellent video on the Reason Studios YouTube channel where every knob is explained in detail. I have it linked in the description. Now you have a slight idea of how complex Object is and what range of sounds it can produce. Object is very, very interesting and it inspires me like crazy. The synth in the video which is displayed on screen and linked in the description will create lush, thick sounds. Check it out. <laughs> 